Hey guys, Gavin here. Got a new project today, if you can't tell. I have gone out and bought something completely stupid. And I'm going to show you guys the build process. Um, this is going to be part one. I will be filming part two and part three down the road as I get around to it. As you can see, it's a big ass boat. 36 inches long on the length, 9 inches on the beam. It is 1 24th scale, a shrimp boat, which I have wanted for a long time. I finally just got it recently, and I figured I would go through the build with you guys on YouTube because I couldn't find any build videos. So, I will be doing the, uh, I'll be covering what is in the box and the few tips that I've already learned so far in putting together a few frames and the keel and what you'll also need that's not included in the kit. Now, the next video, video number two, I'll probably film in the coming few days and that'll be showing you how to put together the frames and subsequently, the keel will be part of that because you have to assemble the keel. It is not one solid piece. Now, a little bit of frame of reference. This is a one foot ruler compared to this box. If that gives you any indication of how big this actually is. Now, first and foremost, what you're going to get in this box is going to be a couple of super cool pro uh, super cool items so you're gonna get instructions this is a novel of an instruction book it tells you the history as well as the introduction and it's not illustrated it's very important to understand that this is not illustrated now there's a reason for that. There are two instruction books. The second instruction book is your illustrations, and it tells you your parts on the front, and then it goes through and shows you drawn out instructions for everything. On the very back of this, I've already taken them off, but I'll show you, there are drawings full-size plans so full-size drawing for the first the first five frames and then the last five frames there are ten frames in total it shows you all of them as well as a full-sized jig pattern you will need these jigs you cannot build this without the jigs let me rephrase that. It is very ill-advised to build this without the jigs. It just makes it a lot easier. If you've been putting boat kits together for probably longer than I've been alive, then you can get away with it. You do you. However, as someone who's just starting out and has never built a boat kit before of this scale and of this type, I am going to go along with the instructions and say, please use the jigs because you will need them. Now, as well as the instructions, you also get the decals, which are not water slide. These are just like heavy equipment decals or stickers for your car. You cut out around them and it's uh, you peel the backing off and it's going to be clear and you rub on it. It's pressure. It's a pressure adhesive, just like you would for uh, like a regular window decal or something for your car. Now, besides those, you also get this little thing of netting, which I won't be using. And you get this big bag, which has all of your rigging, most of your rigging, some assorted parts, your rudder, and all the winch parts, as well as some chain for the rigging. Now, it is important to note this kit, if you plan to make it RC, you have to get the hardware kit because you cannot assemble the keel without 
the hardware kit. And the reason for that is because if you are making this RC, you have to have this. This is your stuffing box. It's just a piece of brass tube with the oiling tube. And it goes in the keel. It's part of the keel. And if you don't have it, because, you know, it, the, the uh, thing comes with your propeller and the propeller rod. If you don't pick up the running hardware kit, which also has this cool little baggie of uh, assorted couplings that's necessary. If you don't pick that up, you won't be able to put together the kit. And the reason I say that is because if you look right here, that gap you see in the middle right there that is where the stuffing box goes if you don't have it you won't be able to put the keel together now that being said if you should so desire you can build the keel and use scrap wood to fill that if you don't care about making it rc but if you want to have the propeller on there and you want it to be RC, you have to pick that kit up. It is sold separately. It does not come with this. So I want to say it's an extra $50 depending on who you buy it from. So you have to buy that in advance. The instructions also notate it um, just so that you know everyone's aware of that. Um, you get all sorts of laser cut parts. I'm not going to go through all of them because I'd be here for about two hours trying to go through everything. The biggest, or for, uh, biggest and foremost thing that you'll notice in one of the kit parts is this giant block of balsa wood. At the very front of the boat, when you're putting together the keel and you start to, once you put the keel together, you've put the frames together and you're starting to plank it, the, um... The planks do not extend all the way from the very front of the bow to the very back of the boat. So you will have to, from the very back of the boat to almost to the front, it reaches. There will be a big gap, roughly about this big, in the very, very front, and that's where this comes in. You will cut this into pieces and fill in the gap and carve it to shape. Uh, if you're not good with carving that may be an issue. But other than that, there are a bunch of laser cut parts. Your frames are all laser cut. They come out of a single, I've already cut most of them out, but they come out of a single sheet of laser cut parts. Um, make sure, make sure that when you get them, that you make sure that the laser cut parts don't have a defect like this where it's not completely level. You see on that very back line right here, it runs up and then there it went up and kept going. That's not normal. My kit unfortunately had a defect, so I'm in a slight pause. Um, make sure that that is not present on your kit when you buy it. If you have that defect, Contact uh, Dumas, who or Dumas, however you pronounce it, um, who makes the kit, and let them know. Um, you'll have a bundle of strip wood. You'll have dowels. You'll have a bunch of planks. You'll have a bunch of big old pieces of uh, balsa wood and basswood. Your planking, I will show you what you're going to be using for planking. For planking, you're going to be using, it's bundled up, and it's going to be balsa. Now, the reason I say make sure that you use the balsa for the planking is because it's soft. You'll be able to pick it up and feel that it's soft. But as you can see, it's you know pretty thick planking. The reason I say that is because there's also a bundle of parts that are not exactly huge but they're about the same thickness but they're also a lot less wide and that's basswood and 
It's a little harder. It's a little harder, a little bit more firm, and that's what you're going to use for the bracing in between the molds as well as other stuff. Um, that's really everything that comes in this first kit other than the other laser cut stuff, which uh, I'm not going to go through. It's mostly, you'll see it in the uh, instructions, it's laser cut stuff such as, uh, such as your your die cast uh, cabin parts, the deck, the uh, shear line, the rest of the stuff for the wheelhouse, and then all of your like windows and um, other assorted parts. Those are all laser cut and uh, there's really no point in showing those off. Um, the one thing I will say when you're putting the keel together is the keel, you it it comes on the same laser cut sheet as the um, frames. The frames are going to be one piece. So each side that you cut out of the of the frames that you cut out is just one part. So for example, you'll have a piece like this and a piece like this. It's the there's two sheets and they're, they're all the same. You don't double them up or anything. One piece is the thickness of the frame. Now for the keel, that's different. For the keel, you're gonna take those same two pieces and laminate and glue them together. It creates a thicker part so that it matches the thickness of the remaining uh, block of wood, this thing, that is your main keel, makes the keel thicker. You don't have to make the frames thicker. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. If you want to add extra parts and make it thicker, that's on you. The kit specifies, though, that only the, f the keel is doubled up. Now, with that being said, so far, everything I've been able to put together has fit together fairly well. The kit recommends using different types of glues with epoxies and... CAs and super glues and I've just been using super glue so far and a lot of it and it goes together pretty well um, overall so far the kits going together well uh, one word of advice that I would say though is when you get the kit and you start cutting your parts out put them down on those full-size drawings and make sure that they are in the correct shape um, you're not gonna be able to put this together if the parts are not cut correctly and also, uh, when it comes to any of the more structural bonds, I would advise using maybe wood glue along with super glue. I would not try to use only super glue. Um, so far, I've, the only things I've put together that required anything more than super glue have been the um, frames. Now, I'll show you one of the frames and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's quite a big... Uh, it's quite a big boat box. You stay. So, when you're putting the frames together, and you're doing this butt joint right here, this is what that smaller stuff is used for. You have to do these legs because you're going to have to set it on a flat surface, and that's where those things are going to come in too. But joints like these, and this butt joint like this, same with this one, and all through here, it's not stated in the instructions. However, I would highly recommend that if you're going to do those uh, joints and you want them to last, I would highly recommend using something like uh, a wood putty of some kind to so I used just some plain uh, wood filler some water based natural wood filler to further strengthen those joints because those joints regardless of how much super glue you use if you don't put something else to keep that together it's going to over time fall apart if super glue is the only thing you use um 
Now, once the boat's all glued up together and put together, you shouldn't have any issues, but you never know. But anyway, that is this part one. That's just kind of an introduction to the kit, shows you what's in it. And part two and part three are going to be putting the keel and the frames together. That's all I got. I will see y'all later.